What's up guys, this is Berg Music, and welcome to the new M13B Assault Rifle in Modern Warfare 2. Right now, at this very moment in Modern Warfare 2, there is only one way to get this assault rifle. You have to complete a DMZ challenge, which is killing the chemist in the radiation zone in DMZ mode. And boys, I got the biggest W. I can't believe I actually extracted and got this gun. It was insane. For this video, I do mostly just want to actually use the gun, level it up, and show it off to you guys. But I do want to show you guys the journey of how I unlocked this gun, because it was pretty ridiculous. So right now in Modern Warfare 2, the battle pass is actually bugged. I have the vault edition of this game on multiple platforms, so I should actually have like a bunch of tier skips. I wanted to cover the new Victus XMR Sniper and the Bass P. I wanted to get through all of this and show you guys everything, right? But unfortunately, since I don't have those tokens, I can't just go ahead and make these videos quite yet. But I figured, hey, I'll make the best out of the situation. I'll play DMZ and try to get the M13B. So I loaded into my first game and I actually spawned near a helicopter. I had to kill some AI before I could actually take it. But I figured, you know what? This challenge can't be that bad. I'll just rush in there, kill the AI, take the gun, and then extract. It is not that easy. The first thing that you need to be aware of is that this is a radiation zone. I went in there without a gas mask and it didn't go great. But one thing you should know is that if you're able to kill an AI, almost all of them have a gas mask. So even if you don't have one, you could just loot it off of a dead body and then you'll be relatively safe. But here's the thing. You can't go into this area and expect to be successful without having at least one or two of your teammates there. If you try to go into this thing solo, it's going to end up like my first game, which is just utter failure. The second game, I decided to pace things out just a little bit more. I didn't spawn near a helicopter, so I wasn't given that option anyway. But I was like, you know what? Let's kill some of the AI. Let's start to get some loot. We can complete a challenge to extract a hostage and get some money. I used that money to buy myself a gas mask so I could approach that area a little bit more safely. And here's the thing. I was just queuing up with random people. We were using the pings. No one was really talking. And we were actually able to pull this off. Now, I do have to say it wasn't easy. I think the biggest thing that we got lucky with is the fact that there were really not any other actual humans, like actual people playing, trying to stop us, which would definitely make this a lot harder. The AI bots in DMZ are kind of insane though. I mean, the chemist himself has a lot of armor. I mean, I tried going right up to him and killing him and he did not die. My random squad mate ended up finishing him off and he got the kill and the M13B was dropped. But we still had a lot of other AI to deal with and it just caused so much chaos. We got down so many times, but you know what? We had a teammate leave, but me and this other dude, we just stuck through it. I don't even know if he necessarily knew about this whole challenge. He was just kind of going along with whatever I was pinging and doing in the game. And eventually I was able to find the gun off of the grounds. This is what it looks like in case you're trying to find the blueprint. And the second I got the gun, the adrenaline started pumping. I was like, dude, we need to extract. We need to get out of here as fast as possible. Just immediately started running to the nearest possible extract location. One thing that is kind of tricky about the blueprints is that it's actually very slow. Like you move extremely slow with this gun. So I would highly recommend trying to either like drop another gun and switch to your fist or use a combat knife, something. Try to hop into a vehicle because you're going to move so slow with this blueprint. But my heart just kept racing as we're getting closer and closer to the extract. I wasn't sure if there were going to be people camping it, if there was going to be like another squad of like three, that would have been horrible. But both of us got extremely lucky. We just had to kill a couple of AI and then I was just diving. I was like, I better not get killed. I don't want to get sniped. Need to get into this helicopter and extract. And thankfully we got extremely lucky. And in my second attempt of trying to get the M13B, I got it. You could do all of that in DMZ, or you could just buy the store bundle once it's available. But either way, I kind of had a blast going for this in DMZ. It was a fun little side challenge. It will probably be extremely annoying if you don't get lucky like I did. Of course, the first game I get is Tarak. Well, I'm glad I didn't pop the double weapon XP. If it's a bad game, I'm just going to straight up leave. All of this waiting, all this grinding just to get Tarak. Amazing. I just... Uh, okay, we're out. <laughs> Get that massive W in DMZ just to get stuck in the head with a drill charge to start the game on Tarak. Yeah, right. So it looks like we actually have preview animations, kind of. I think this just got added back in with Modern Warfare 2 Season 1. We can check it out here in the firing range, too, while we wait for a game. Here's the inspect. I mean, it looks just like the M13 from Modern Warfare 2019. It is super accurate. I can't wait to get more attachments for it. Really hoping we actually get a good map and I can pop this double weapon XP. Okay, hotel's decent. I'll pop it. Let's go. We'll stick with it. Let's get some tags. Let's get some XP. Okay, well, I got a VTOW. I need to get my own tag. Lots of XP. Boom. Oh, wait, that was the wrong one. I might be one of the few people right now in Modern Warfare 2 to actually have this gun. I mean, that's crazy. Also, I don't even know how I just got that explosion kill. Woo! Woo! Oh, quickly, Vixley! Don't die. We got it to a level two. What did I get? Woo! Counter UAV? Nice. Ah! I don't know how I didn't get that guy. We lost the streak. Get the tag. I know there's a guy in the corner here. Woo! Miracle. We're level six. Wait, rank up M13B to level 62? What? That made no sense. Get my tag. Ooh! Ah, oh, I didn't get him. I'll wait to start building this thing out. We need to just focus on the game. What are you doing in the corner? 
Lord, dude. Good Lord. Also, how is there pinging? There's pinging. I thought they actually temporarily disabled pinging. Maybe they brought it back for some reason. Maybe it was an accident. I don't know. There's all kinds of weird stuff going on with Modern Warfare 2 right now. Don't have my battle pass tokens. My platinum progress for certain weapons are, I think all of them actually reset. So rip all of those long shots that I got for certain guns. I think the same thing happened for gold camo, possibly even Polly and Orion for other people as well. It's, it's crazy, man. I don't know what they're doing. This update is actually pretty fun. And I like a lot of the stuff that they brought in, but they've also kind of regressed some things too. I don't know if I'll have a separate video on that for now. I just want to use the gun and show it off to you guys. But yeah, part of me is shocked, but at the same time, I kind of expected this to happen too. <laughs> this game has been buggy and having all kinds of issues. And I do want it to get better and improve, but obviously, you know, as they add more more features and stuff it's getting complicated you know also come on i need the tag this is the weirdest lobby they're camping so hard on us i mean no sense this is a sweaty lobby i can't wait max out my skill based matchmaking yo let's go i i can't believe this i can't believe they've done this oh let me get the tag Yes, let me get a tag. Thank God. The guy's in the corner. Cool. I got some kind of challenge. Maybe that was like a season one challenge. Let's go. Getting more stuff unlocked. Holy Lord. This is what I'm up against right now, man. It is intense. Come on, bro. Peek it. Peek it. Peek it. Ah! <laughs> that was such bad timing. Do the god timing. Oh, my God. He's dolphin diving. Dolphin doofing. I win. And that's the game. Dropped 18 kills first game, 15 tags, not bad. It's okay, we definitely need to get some attachments on this thing for sure. Yeah, basically just went dead neutral. 18 to 17, got 15 tags, we won though. Token bank is so small. The token bank is supposed to have like 50 tokens in it right now. Okay, we're level four out of 20, that's dank. See, oh, the red tiger and blue tiger looks clean, especially blue. Some of my favorite other camos to rock are also Spectrum. And I mean, they got fall camo in the game too. My game is frozen right now. I'm gonna rock it with fall camo, that actually looks so nice. I've really just got a sight and a suppressor on it. This is not great. Oh, get that grenade out of here. Ah. Can we get a quad feed? Quad feed? Nice slow quad feed. No? Okay. Oh, bro's got the shield. <laughs> I was definitely not ready for that. Is he still going to be waiting here? Uh, he's just leaning. Okay, you're done. That's their best player, by the way. I need a larger mag for this thing for sure. Peek it. Thank you. Come on, let me get my tag. Oh, that's so much XP. Let's go. The grind is real. This is how you do it, lads. Woo, flying. Doesn't even know. Oh, the sun. Did they buff the sun with this update? Jesus. Oh, he's camping up there. Loots. Free tag. Ah, it was worth it. I got the streaks. You ever just like try to run with the knife, but then you go to aim and instead it just swings the knife? I don't like that. Like the whole reason I'm switching to the knife in the first place is to get increased movement speed. Be able to get to those tags just a little bit faster, but you have to be careful with how like fast you switch. It's weird. Woo. Miracles. Woo. Whoa, another one. Oh, he was way back there. I thought he was closer. Got another UAV noise. Oh my, too many around here. Whoa! <laughs> There's a guy behind me too. It was getting crazy over there. <gasps> oh, he's got a camping, he's got a deployable cover and his shield on his back in a second story. Wow, master sentinel plays right there, Jesus. I don't think so, you disgusting creature. My God, who failed this man? He, he was going right back to it too, unbelievable. I don't know who hurt this guy to make him play that way, but it's intense. We already have this thing to level eight, it's halfway maxed. Oh, that was disgusting. You're done. Get away from me, weirdo. See, I know how to deal with it. Pretty sure the team has no clue, though. That's why we're losing. All good, I'll shoot down all these counter UAVs. We'll get some last minute XP. Ah, a little bit more. There we go. Level nine, I like it. See, destroy the killstreaks too, guys. You can use literally any gun. Level up your weapons. Take out the kill streaks. Lost that one. It's all good. I still did pretty good. Top of the team, 25 kills, 26 confirms. Not too shabby. Got it leveled up quite a bit. Might be able to throw some better attachments on, hopefully. The 725. Dude, their team was just pure cheese, though. Hopefully, I'll be able to build this thing out a little bit more. Okay, we can get up to a 60 round mag. That's what I'm talking about. We'll go with 45 for now. Ammo, I'll probably go with high velocity. Still don't have any different barrels. We could put a laser on, though. That's not bad. I have 45 rounds to work with now, so I'll be able to get into like longer gunfights and stuff. Potentially better quad feed potential, but I'm not like that worried about hitting in this video. But if it happens, it happens. I'm gonna set this to my favorite gun. That way, Price is holding it. Let's see it. Oh, wait, what? What? All right, let's get it, boys. 
Holy lord. Okay, well, that was a terrible start. Don't touch those tags. Oh, he touched all the tags. Okay, and I'm dead again. This is a good start. CDL skin, nice. Love to see that. Now we know what this lobby is gonna be. Sweet he! I mean, to be honest, I kind of deserved it for how I played last game. Bullshit. We got the grips. I might actually put a grip on so I can reduce flinch. I'll take off the sight. I don't, I don't really care. Wait, wait. What? I unlocked rear grip, but I can't put anything on? Well, okay. I guess I unlocked the category, but I don't have any grips for it somehow. Maybe it doesn't share any uh, progression. I have no idea what that's about. Here we go. Not bad, not bad. Okay, it is bad. <laughs> this lobby is just very meh. It's progress, but very slow progress. That's for sure. I don't feel like the time to kill the M13 is actually that great. I feel like it might actually be better to use in tier one just because of how accurate it is. And if it has a one shot kill at any range, then yeah, it'll be good. But in core, I mean, look at this. It's not really dropping people that fast. And I'm getting progressively better attachments for it. I do still have a decent amount more leveling to go and I got to use it more to get like a really good feel for it. I am also playing more aggressively and a lot of these guys are using SMGs. They're just like shredding. There we go, got a challenge. Maybe that was my 50th kill. So we're 50 kills in already. All right, let's get it. Come on. Oh, I tried to get in there. Looks like we are going to win this one, so that's pretty good. The team is getting tagged. That's good. Oh, I got to level 12. Oh, my God, the sniper glint. Dude, that was so ugly. It's down here. Okay. This guy is such a sweat, bro. Oh, my God. I thought I was sweating with this thing. Next level. Well, we got the... Oh, almost had the last tag. Top of the game again, but... <laughs> Yo, are you the real Merc music? Fake Merc, obviously. Dude never plays the objective. Dude, I went straight 19 to 19 to 19. I feel bad, dude. The guy that recognizes me is the one sweating with the MP5 and CDL skin. We got it to 12 out of 20. It's looking good. Have to get double kills now. That was definitely not going to happen in that lobby. Have to get point blanks and then also kills from behind and then we're on our way to gold. Wait, we have to level up the Bass P to get the attachments? Oh, come on. I can't even get access to it because the tokens are on my game. And we're going to finish it strong with some Tarak. Oh, boy. Pretty sure this might be my last game of having double weapon XP, so this will probably be our last one. I'm just trying to grind this thing up, though. All right, let the suffering begin. I mean, honestly, Tarak's not a terrible map for long shots, but for just regular playing of Call of Duty, no. This dude's already back here on a head glitch. Okay, enjoy it while you can, buddy. I know where you are. What in the damn hell am I looking at? Oh, Lord. Can we just agree to not turtle in this game at all, please? Thank you. That'd be nice. The exceptions would be like if you're going to go knife only or use a pistol. Something that is going to make it just an absolute nightmare for you. But if you got the riot shield on your back while you're using like a submachine gun or an AR, oh, Lord. They have an advance. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're so... It's it's over. They got the advanced UAV. On Tarak, forget about it. I think I might have to try building this thing for accuracy. Like, this gun's already accurate, but it really needs to just become a laser beam. Like, I think if it's built straight up for just accuracy, it'll be a monster. I just can't really get it fully built until I now have that Bass P SMG, so that's great. Straight up just got Modern Warfare 2 with the whole attachment and unlocking system. You know what's so annoying about the Overwatch helo is that you don't get XP for taking it down. At least I don't think you do. Really weird. Like, watch. If we get to the destroy on this... I'm not going to get anything. It's just going to have the red hit marker and bye-bye. Wait for it. Th yep. Like, do you actually get XP for that or no? Double kill. Noise. Get that camo unlocked. Oh my god. Yep, long shots could be a nightmare. At least in core. I I've got no words. Oh, miracle. Evie, Jesus Christ. Evie, hush, what are you doing? Evie, you got me punched, bro. This is so over. Also, I just realized that guy is turtling with a sniper. That is like unheard of, disgusting behavior. Lost that one, but it's Tarak, so who cares? Still did the best on my team, I'm trying. Yep, typical 27-23, dead even skill-based matchmaking, but it is what it is. I popped a double weapon XP, so it just makes the lobbies even worse. But yeah, I mean, we leveled it up quite a bit. Got it to 15 out of 20. That's not too bad. 30 minutes of double weapon XP and some okay-ish lobbies. Definitely going to keep grinding it, leveling it up, get it maxed out, and get gold for it as well. But that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me use the new M13B assault rifle in Modern Warfare 2. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more of the new guns in Modern Warfare 2 Season 1, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Tier 1 in Modern Warfare 2 is ruined. What you're going to be seeing right here is my first game of actually playing Tier 1 in public matches. I joined into like a hardcore hardpoint game late.